Hello, this is Cody Nelson. Out here in a field uh, just south of Starbuck, Minnesota. And just want to show you a few things. We're, we're doing a 30-60-30-60 corn plot here. Uh, I'm going to flip the screen here and show you what we're doing. Um, you can see we've got 30 inches by 60, 30 by 60. What we've tried to do is maintain corn population. We were shooting for a 32,000 corn population, uh, which is about normal what we do in our in our 30 inch corn in this area. So I wanted to show you, I just pulled some ears. Uh, on the left was, was out of the 30, 60, 30, 60 row, rows, and then in the right was actually over in the straight 30 inches. I saw this was uh, very normal throughout the throughout the plot so hopefully uh, we can see a yield increase or actually we were really just hoping to maintain yield um, but we we might be able to increase that but I want to show you just what this cover crop looks like notice how much taller it is uh, we're we are seeing uh, we were we were thinking we would actually also see more benefit in between here we're not seeing near as much um, in between the rows um, in these 30s as we as we do in the 60 we thought maybe we would see some more sunlight get in between those two rows and we'd have a more solid cover crop here as opposed to where we just went with the uh, 30 inch rows and I'm gonna take you over to the straight 30s now and show you some of that but you can see we got multiple rows here same thing this one didn't get it quite as good of a stand but now we're in to just where there was uh, just our 30 inch rows. We didn't have as good of a catch on the cover. There's, there we got some. Um, this was seeded around V4 to V5. It was seeded with a uh, homemade inner seeder. It's actually with a Gandy box and uh, on, a, on a toolbar with part uh, wheels off of a rotary hoe uh, a little bit about this field if you're just if this is the first video that you're watching uh, this field was a small grain forage crop last year and this uh, and it was harvested as oats and peas as it was baled um, and then it was planted in mid-july to a, a warm and cool season grazing cover uh, we had a very diverse combo out there and then we came in this corn was no-tilled directly into that residue uh, and then we've we've done this now I will definitely change up our cover crop blend um, what we had in here we had some annual rye grass we had winter cereal rye we had a few brassicas, but we didn't we didn't go very strong on the brassicas. I do think on the 30 or on the 60 inches we can probably increase that. I think we'll have a better success uh, getting the brassicas to, to maintain. Sometimes on, on some of those brassicas we do struggle uh, depending upon the corn. Whenever we're interseeding into corn, um, it is very dependent on the corn hybrid itself of whether or not the brassica really takes off and thrives under that. Uh, we don't ever see those big radishes that with early interseeding, but we do see uh, a lot of times we do get them to come through. So I just look at the, the, the height difference. This backside here was chopped. Um, it was actually chopped for a field day that we had the end of August. So, so this is just showing the growth that that we get out here which is all right it's not bad uh, you can see the grasses did really well there's some there's a few brassicas out here but not anything like we would like um, so trying to get some want to get a few more turnips and, and rapes and things like that maybe some radishes possibly but this is kind of where we're at i've had a lot of people ask to get an updated video we are excited to get the yield data we should have that we're just kind of letting it dry down now um, this is all conventional corn, um, so if you got any questions, just go down and, and ask the questions. We'll try and get them answered the best we can, um, and we just want to help you out. So uh, go ahead and check out uh, our, face, our Facebook page, SoilRx, 
Uh, check out the website, www.soilrx.net. And uh, hit, hit the like button. Maybe subscribe to our Cover Crop channel, Cover Crop Kings. Thank you. Have a good day.